Okay, so picking up where we left off, we have our, um, our, our um, username, password, and uh, blog URL, and then we click the Save Settings. This is back in the Clipmarks account under Clip to Blog. We picked WordPress, WordPress username, password, and blog URL. And then once that's been set up there, then what we do is we go over here to the public profile, and then we go ahead and add that blog URL there as well. So on this page, we just go over here and just put the URL right there and click Save Changes. And then we have the uh, email account we set up. We have the Clipmarks account we set up. We have the WordPress remote blog we set up. And we have the Clip to Blog settings and public profile stuff set up in Clipmarks. And now all that has to be recorded on the spreadsheet uh, or in the, the software that I created uh, to do this, which um, I'm going to do right now. So referring back to uh, this spreadsheet, so you know I would have the uh, the service was WordPress, uh, the username, the password, and then the blog URL I would put right here, and uh, whatever that ends up being hair hair removal .wordpress.com. And you know there's a similar process for setting up a remote blog on Vox or on uh, LiveJournal. I'm not sure there's any benefit in creating a combination of Vox, LiveJournal, and WordPress, or if you just want to stick with just creating WordPress accounts all day. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any difference. I kind of mix it up, and I could certainly make a video to show you how to walk through the process of creating a Vox or a LiveJournal account and, and blog, but the same process applies, and you just want the blog URL to be keyword relevant and the, uh, the title of the blog to be keyword relevant and then put all that stuff into clip marks um, and record it either on your spreadsheet or in my remote blog tracking software that I'm going to show you uh, down the road. I'll uh, we'll pick this up in the next video.